Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. Good to see you. Uh, today's brush is the Samogi 30, and again, I'm going to be bowl lathering for this shave. And I'm going to start it off today with the Parasso White pre shave for a change. Uh, I've been using the Parasso Red um, for a, a good few shaves, so I just decided to give that an outing. Uh, the soap for today is not a sample, it's a full tub of Chella. And Chella is a, an almond um, scented soap, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's been on the go since. 1899 and this was uh, one of the soaps in my Super 6 and it's a, uh, as you can see, it's a very very soft um, cream. So that's the reason I'm going to be bowl lathering and because I have the full puck I'll just let you see the ingredients and some of you guys like to see this so you can take a look. Yeah, and the reason I wanted to use this uh, and oh, I'll show you the razor. The razor is uh, the DE89, the Edwin Jagger uh, three-piece razor. This is, uh, I have it in the diamond laser handle. It's a beautiful piece of workmanship made in England. But we'll not let that us bother, we'll not let that bother us Scottish people. Made in England. <laughs> And the blade I have in there is a Supermax Stainless. Now the reason I wanted to use the Edwin Jagger and the Supermax Stainless, someone commented on one of my YouTube videos, one of the previous shaves, and his name is, his YouTube name is Carriza5, Carriza5, and he suggested using, he wanted to see the Edwin Jagger with the Supermax Stainless blade. And I had these blades upstairs anyway, so in my den, and I thought, well, okay, I forgot it, I'll use it. Someone wants to see it. And also, the cella, I have used this before, but not on video. And uh, a great guy called Alexander De Leon, that's his YouTube name, he always comments on my videos. Um, I really appreciate that. He asked to see this on a video. I have shaved with it before, but I didn't film it for some reason, I don't know why. Um, so, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to apply the pre-shave and I'm going to get the cella mixed up in the bowl and I'll come right back so we'll see you soon. Okay, that's the Parasso White uh, rubbed into my face and there's the, the cella mixed up in the bowl. Um, lovely and creamy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can definitely feel the menthol from the, the Parasso White. Uh, it feels nice. Uh, okay, let's get this uh, lathered up onto my face. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. And you're having some good shaves. And you're enjoying the weather. Because I sell am. And this cella, yeah, it's not for everyone. Um, some people don't like the the scent of the because it's a, an almond scented soap. But um, I just think it smells great. It's a it's a traditional Italian smelling shaving soap. As I say, it's been on the go for over a hundred years, so they must be doing something right and I'm just uh, taking some out of the bowl. And applying it to my face. And that looks good. With that lovely lather it creates, and uh, I mixed it up in the bowl, and it was super super easy to mix up. Yeah, done it in no time at all. Oh, and actually, 
Well, I'll tell you as the shave goes on, the reason I wanted to use the cella. Okay, and I'm just going to get some heat in this blade. The Edwin Jagger D89 with the Supermax stainless. Feels good. I have about um, four days growth here, and it's just uh, it's just plowing through it. Very nice. Yeah, the reason I wanted to use the, the cello soap as well was because uh, the place I bought that, which is a, a bricks and mortar store here in Dundee called, a shaving store called The Gentleman's Groom Room. And I'll put the link for it in the description. And that's where I bought the cello. And on Sunday, this coming Sunday, there's a Scottish wet shavers meetup. And it's actually in the gentleman's groom room. Uh, the guy down there uh, that, that runs things, a guy called Ian, and he's a fantastic bloke. Um, very, very knowledgeable when it comes to th all things shaving. And he's going to be the host on Sunday. And he's very kindly um, he's very kindly going to host it in his his uh, shop in a shaving shop in, the, in town in Dundee which I think is a very very generous thing to do and uh, yeah he's having a there's going to be kind of free drinks and snacks and did someone mention snacks? <laughs> Um, and he's, he's going to have a 10% off everything on Sunday, which I think is a very generous thing to do. And this is a nice shave, I'm really enjoying this combination. Okay, first pass done. Nice. Okay, I'll just rinse off and I'll come back. Okay, we're back for pass two. And still lots of cream in here. The cella. And again, I've left my face wet just to. It seems to work better for me. Yeah, so I was saying about the, uh, the store. The gentleman's groom room here in in, uh, in my hometown in Dundee in Scotland. Um, yeah, I'm quite lucky to have a, a shop like that right on my doorstep because there's not many places now have an actual store that you can go in and smell everything and try stuff out and um, yeah, so quite uh, well. I'm very lucky actually being into shaving and I think the shop's been there for quite a number of years so 
it's, uh, it's well established. And very popular, which is great. Hello to my new subscribers, it's uh, very nice of you to join us all here <coughs> watching me shave. Okay, pass number two against the green. I don't know whether you can hear my tummy rumbling, but um, <coughs> <coughs> it's probably because the word snacks was mentioned. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, yeah, it's probably thinking, ooh, snacks. And um, uh, someone asked me, someone sent me a message, uh, was it Cody, Cody Gearhart? I think it was, he's uh, a YouTuber, he makes some shaving videos. He was asking about the, the angle on my neck. Um, and I was kind of just saying, when you put the blade there, you'll feel when it's cutting, you'll feel the blade against your skin. And, um, yeah, I kind of likened it to like riding a bicycle. Once you find it and get the angle, um, it kind of comes intuitively. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like almost training your your eye looking in the mirror and. Well, I think the trick as well is, which I remember seeing in a, a Geo Fat Boy video <clears throat> when I just started out. Um, <clears throat> he was saying to actually don't don't use your wrist to move the the angle of the blade. Use your use your kind of do it from your your arm. Use your whole arm to just let just kind of position the blade so it's uh, position the razor. So it's on your skin and, and move your whole arm up and down. So I hope that helps, Cody. Second pass done. Very nice. There's a couple of little weepers down here, but it wouldn't be a Kevy Shaves if I, there wasn't. <laughs> okay, I'll just rinse off and I'll come back for pass number three. Okay. We're back for pass three. There's still plenty of lather here. Yeah, so um, I've had a look on the website and I've kind of got some stuff to buy for when I visit the Scotch Wet Shavers meet on Sunday. And I'm actually really looking forward to seeing some faces that post in the Facebook groups and on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, it'll be nice to shake the hands of some people.
Good stuff. I'm, uh, I'm quite enjoying this shave actually. Okay, pass number three against the grain. Yeah, I would have to say about the uh, Supermax stainless. It's not the... Uh, it's not the sharpest or the smoothest blade that I've used, but it's okay. It's doing what it needs to do. Which is taking the stubble off. Forgetting to keep my neck straight here, so it's uh, I keep doing that in the jaw. So I keep it straighter. Oh, <clears throat> I meant to ask, how's the therapy going for uh, buying the shaving gear? Yeah, they're going well. That's good. Yeah, same as me. Every time you come out of session, you go and buy something else. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Remember, one, br one brush, a few blades, one razor. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> that's the third pass done. And that feels excellent, very nice. There's a few bits to pick up. Probably more than normal, but I don't know whether that's just because of the blade and the mildness of the D89. Okay, I'll just rinse off and we'll come back for some pickups. Okay, we're back. Yeah, just a couple little bits down here. Okay, I'll just um, scoop the rest of this out of the brush and there's still lots left. And uh, I'll just give it the old Nick Shaves technique. Uh, rub the soap in and just have a little feel about for any bits I want to get a bit closer and then I'll just shave them and then we'll come back Okay, I'm happy with that. Feels pretty good. A uh, few wee bursts in here. Okay, I'm just going to rub the soap in and then I'll come back when I've rinsed with some hot water then cold water. We'll come back for the post. Okay. We're back. Nice shave. Yeah, feels pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to put on some um, Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Nice. And while that's drying in, we'll go over what we've used again today. Okay, we started off with the Parasso White Pre Shave. Excellent product. Do I like it as much as the Parasso Red? 
No, but um, yeah, I like the little kick of menthol it gives you on your face. It um, feels quite nice. The brush for today was the Samog 830 bore brush, and um, we bowl lathered in the shaving room bowl. And yeah, I'm pleased to say I only lost one hair today, the Samog 830. I was keeping an eye on it because it did seem to be losing quite a bit of hairs, but um, it seems to be fine today. I only lost one just when I was lathering up. The uh, razor today was the fantastic Edwin, Edwin Jagger DE89, and this is the one with the 3D laser diamond handle. Yeah, beautiful razor, quality craftsmanship, made in England. <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah, nice razor. Very, not a very mild, but it's a mild razor. And inside that I had a, a brand new Supermax stainless blade. Uh, and the reason I, I paired the blade and the razor together was because Carriza 5 wanted that combination. He mentioned it in one of my comments on one of the videos, so I'm uh, happy to use that. Uh, if I have it, I'll use it. The soap today was Chella. Fantastic soap. But it's actually, a, I would say it's a... It's a kind of a croap. It's very soft. Um, and that was because Alexander de Leon mentioned that I hadn't used it in a shaving video, and I hadn't. So I used it today, and um, yeah, I, I really like it. Almond scented Italian soap. Just, uh, you can't go wrong with it. Um, and again, he asked to, for me to use that, and because I had it in my den, um, I used it. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with some skin bracer. Uh, now you can't get this in the UK, but my nephew was uh, recently in the States and he brought me back some things. He went into, which you can see there, I guess, Walgreens. And yeah, he brought me back this and a couple other things that I'll show you in videos to come. Um, so this is a, a very cheap aftershave. Ah, nice. A little bit of menthol in it. I could smell, and to me, it kind of smells like, like baby talc, baby powder, which is nice. I like it, and it's a, uh, you know, it's got a nice, um, a nice feeling on the skin. It leaves your skin feeling very nice, and it's relatively cheap. As I say, you can't get it here in the UK. Um, I don't know why, but um, I'm just uh, putting a little bit from there. Yeah, because it's, it's a nice product, and I'm not sure why you can't get that, but um, very good, very enjoyable skin bracer. And I'm going to finish it off with some Nivea Men Originals. Just a little bit of that, that much. Just rub that in. Uh, that feels excellent. <laughs> very good. Nice shave. Nice and comfortable, no irritation. A couple of little bits here, which look a bit... But it feels nice. Nice shave, Kevy shaves. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone watching this, I think, oh my God, what was he? Ah, excellent. Okay. Uh, I'll just put the lid back on this. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy lives, whatever you do, to, to watch me shave. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. And uh, I'm just documenting it just kind of for everyone. And uh, someone can look back and if they see me using a, a, a product or a, a razor or a soap and if I like it, I like it. If I don't, if I don't think it's up to par, um, uh, I'll tell you, I mean, this blade today, the Supermax Stainless, it was okay, it done what it was supposed to do, but it wasn't the smoothest or the sharpest blade I've used. Um, maybe in a, a more aggressive razor it would be a, a good blade, but um, I found it I found it okay, it done the job. I mean, look. yeah, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so, uh, please keep commenting, 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 please keep commenting. 
please keep commenting on the videos that I put up because um, I always try to answer them and usually there's, there's always some fantastic knowledge out there. Someone will tell me something that or provide a link and then someone else will answer and it, it just kind of it keeps it keeps things moving along and uh, sharing knowledge and I just really appreciate that and I really like it and I think it's great for the, the shaving community in general for everyone to come together and just discuss things what they're using and stuff like that I think it's a it's a really good thing so until the next shave video if it is a shave video uh, <laughs> we'll see you then and uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon thanks